Okay, here's a small tutorial about something that Palakis worked on. It's a plugin for VS Studio and it's called NDI Source or NDI, which is something that was made by NewTek, which released stuff like uh, the TriCaster and all the very, very high production quality um, video mixers and all that stuff. So it's supposed to be used in combination with that but it can also do something different. And that is replace a capture card or engines for like dual stream PC setups over local network. Now, warning, this takes a shit ton of bandwidth. So if you are on Wi-Fi, forget about it. If you are on power line adapters, forget about it. So you need relatively decent uh, local network so your network cards can't be bad your router can't be bad like the the average consumer grade stuff should work though so to start you pick the installer you just download the windows installer or whatever system you're on and install it on both pcs so this is obviously showing it on one PC, since that is a lot easier to show off and I don't really have a second PC right now. And as you can see, I marked which OBS I have open for which PC right now. So let's start. First off, we have multiple new things. We have source called, where is it, NDI source. And in the tools menu, we have NDI output settings which appeared on my wrong screen. <laughs> we need both of those. So first up, we have the gaming PC. On the gaming PC, we go into the settings and set the video stuff up the way we want. So 1080p, 60. And you want, let me clarify this, on the gaming PC, you want OBS not to do anything, so don't, not downscaling anything, you want to send the full 1080p 60fps over to the streaming PC first. So 1080p 60fps and now we go into output settings and just simply click the enable NDI output. That's it. It's now available on the network. Now we go to the streaming PC and there we add the NDI source. And you can see it pops up right here. Don't check low bandwidth mode. That will make it really ugly. Click and you can see it's already transmitting. Of course, it doesn't, it's not transmitting anything right now. So let's, this little display capture would be a bad idea. Transmitted text source. You can already see it's already showing up on this one. I can't edit it here, of course, because it's one source, but I can do it on the gaming PC. As you can see, it has a very, very, very minor latency. It's so small that you shouldn't even notice. And it doesn't really matter because NDI source also transmits the audio to the next PC. And in that case, let me, oops, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> this stupid UI. Okay, let's, for example, since I don't have anything set up on these OBS copies, let's add the input capture. Let's use my microphone. Okay, so you see, here I have my microphone added, and this one is called NDI source, because that's the NDI source's output over the network. So if I turn this all the way down, it will not transmit. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's all there is to it. That's how easy it is. So really quick on the gaming PC, oh, not output timer, on the gaming PC, NDI output settings, click the checkbox on the stream PC, add a source, add NDI source. Done. And it should work. If it, if it transmits a completely black screen, even though your game PC shows stuff, like the game or anything, then you should probably check your firewalls. I've, I've had one person had trouble with this firewall blocking this. 
Otherwise, that's pretty much it. So I hope this helps.